Oh, we should have changed so it. So it's under software. Under software. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or random desk. Random. Okay. Unplug. <laughs> How about this? Like 50. Dark purple. So you think it'll be It's a little darker. Here's purple. So this file Let's try that. Yep. So black is almost the only color that's making it stop. Yeah, but it needs a very high contrast to uh, be able to do that. Okay, so it's not moving. Why is it not moving? It's not on. Okay, what do you think okay. the, the sensor's so reading? Good. So the threshold was set as what, 35? You guys remember what black was when you were doing your experiments? What do you think black is? Okay. Yeah, it's close. It's right around 20. So like 17, 20. It's going to vary. Okay? So we have to remember this also when, when, when we're um, the next activity when we need to fall in line. You know, I hope I can you know when it's on dark and when it's on white. And we can make adjustments to keep it on one or the other. Okay? Do you think it's even so higher? Do you remember what black was? Oh, good. No, no, no. That one's a little more so loud, I think. It seems a lot. Wait, you didn't plug in the break. Right. No, you didn't. We got two navigators. We, um, I'm just a little bit of a break. Oh, there's one on this side. Oh, you lost the board. See, I, I made them go. No, it's not plugged in. Build a box. And so it has two little build white boxes. Okay. Build a box workshop. Okay. 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 Or is that just the color value? Never mind. We're not missing it. We're fine. So we have to remember we're going to find the program. So we're waiting. Okay, that's the way this works. It looks out like the program. We have to find that. What? I forgot what their team name was. Yep, we'll need one of these papers. Okay, so we got a white piece of paper here with a plant and a pink. And the reason we do that is because we want, at some point, the robot to be able to follow the line. So the robot is able to The sensor is very good at detecting contrast in color between white and black. So we're going to, all we're doing is testing if we can differentiate here and see the difference between black and white. So we're starting the robot so with the sensor to point of black. Do, it like so remember in the program, we were looking for the sensor to be greater than a threshold of light, okay, from 0 to 100. So our threshold was, you guys remember what it was in the program? And I think it was 35, right? 35. Yep, here's the CA. Here's the set to 35. Okay? So that means that once we turn the program on, if the light is brighter than 35, it'll start moving forward. Okay, so from the floor to the it doesn't get a very accurate reading of what the arms are. So, that's so, that's really so this when we build our next model, we're going to make that light sensor be closer to the ground so it gets more accurate. Put your color sensor in? Yes. Okay. Can you open the color sensor? Yep. And, and we're going to open up the program that says simple underscore color. Yep. Remember, it should point down. Why is there a file of both papers? I'm Matt. So we did sound. We did touch. Double click. Here's the song. Did it open? Yes. Yes. I have your color sensor if you guys didn't have it, or did Tom, you guys want it. Okay. Okay? You guys there? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> okay, so what the color sensor does is returns to us a number between 0 and 15 based on the, the color scale. So if you imagine kind of, the, kind of a rainbow, okay, the numbers that are the brightest are, are tend to be um, towards the bottom of the scale, and then they move their, their way up uh, to darker. Okay, so what the pro what this program will eventually do is it's going to we're going to take the color swatches that we have passed out here, different color swatches, and we're going to just place them. We can do this right on the table. We're going to place them um, right underneath the color color sensor, and we're going to get a reading back. And then based on the reading, we're going to have the robot play a sound. All right. So the robot will speak the color. Okay. Space. Capital R. All caps. R E Q A. All caps. Okay. Space. Do you remember what number? There you go. Space. Number nine. Just nine. So number nine. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Number nine. Everybody got to define in there. We need to switch the robot. It's the other side. Color sensor. So let's just see if we could uh, probably let's fail. Line one. Are we plugged in? I got. You might have some debris up there on line one somewhere at the end, maybe. But if, if to sit, Alexis, how would you send it to the? We're it up There you go. Let's compile again. Print out the color of the I know, but does it have a sound file yet? Yeah, see, this is using GPS. See, that says zero. Okay, we can see. Yeah, red. Actually, what pink? Yeah, red. It works. That's good. Down to the left. A couple more. Okay, well, let's try that and let's see what happens. I know what that is. Is it all cooked up, you guys? Yeah. I think he's tweaking it. Should I add the code in for red? Yes. Uh, let's hold on. Yeah. Uh, I think it's going to be red. Yeah. 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 Okay, for you, you two guys. No. <laughs> 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 So 5,000 teams support to 5,000. Wait, this is gonna go. This is gonna. Oh, you just want to separate. Yeah, fine. Da da. Ready, set, go. Three. I'm getting robot. Robot. Yeah, what? Robot, go. <laughs> Hold on, is it halfway down yet? Sure. Oh. Is it going the right way? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Hold on, here. Turning to one. I was out and turning to the other. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I sure did. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, you yeah.